We're here for the annual Creole Festival for the Creole House Museum. It's our only fundraiser of the year, and it's a it's been going on since the late 70s, and this is the biggest one I think ever. The kids area it was really good today. Um, we did a lot of inflatable games this year, and I think they had a blast back there. Um, I didn't actually go get to test any of the um, inflatables myself, but I might after a while. <laughs> and we do have a car show this year. It was kind of a um, my first deal with this. Um, love old cars, and I just thought it was it added a very good. Um, thing for the festival. Everybody came, the cars kind of came in and out all during the day. So it kind of rotated out what kind of cars you saw. And let's see, what else did we have? Um, the museum's open. And let's see, music, dancing. Uh, Kim's Kids is fixing to perform. They do karaoke. And they, um, let's see what else. We had Clayton Rayburn this morning. He writes his own music. And he played his guitar by himself and sang. It was so nice. I saw people walking in and out of the museum, and that's kind of what this is about. Tell us about what you're trying to preserve. The museum was built in the late 1800s, and we're really trying to preserve it and everything inside, and it's articles and pictures, genealogy, artifacts from around the area. Um, all the local families have contributed to the museum over the years, and we're really trying to preserve that because we want younger generations to know how people in the area lived back in the day, and you can see it and actually touch it here. The lineup is a, a, a big variety of, um, it's, it's Creole, you know. Um, we have uh, Swamp Pop, uh, we have um, line dances. Uh, right now Elvis is on stage doing his 70s show. Uh, we had a canine um, little entertainment there. They explain uh, how the dogs get trained, where they get trained, um, how do they do it. Um, they actually did a, a skit of of how to do an actual attack and all that stuff. So um, it's, it's, it's really a great day to be here at the Creole Festival. Elaborate a little bit on how educational it is for the, the kids to see the canine. It's very educational because um, as a smaller, younger uh, person, their brain is taking in more than an adult. Okay, and as they grow up, they will remember that, and uh, it's, it's very educational because they're going to use it later on. Tell us, you have a special person in this event today. Tell us about that. Well, I have a grandson that uh, does a little Elvis impersonation, and, uh, and I'm here to watch him, and then uh, the lo local band, uh, Stone Envy, is neighbors of mine, and I'm uh, here to hear them and uh, socialize with the, the community. and. Uh, Enjoy the food. I like to drink a little beer every now and then, <laughs> and uh, and uh, eat the food. Yeah, and I love to dance. We dance a little bit, so uh, that's about all. And just the, and the weather this time of the year in October. Yeah, it's good too. Tell us why you came out here today. What's going on? They had the uh, the face painting and the, the games and the blow ups and everything. So they have a really nice time. And the arts and crafts, the music's pretty good. You know, the band's really good. Tell me about your face painting and the the things that you got. What'd you get? I got a cross um, to remind me of God, and I got um, a star to whistle on. <laughs> are you having fun here today? Yeah. What all are you doing? I'm jumping on the blow-ups. I'm getting my face painting. I'm doing arts and crafts. Uh, I'm doing all that stuff. And who are you here with? My mom. And um, have you seen any of your friends? Would you tell your friends to come? Yes. My friend Emily's here, and my friend Caleb's here. And all of them are here. What else? I saw Elvis impersonator and stuff. Did you think that was neat? Yeah. What about the canine stuff? Tell me about that. I thought that was neat because, like, they told the dog to heal and to stop and all that stuff. We have TNT wreaths where um, it's me and my mom. We design our own wreaths and make them at our house. We're out here just to try to sell our wreaths. We have them at a really cheap price just to get them moving. Um, we have them cheaper just so people will buy them. We don't like to jack up our prices really high. Um, we want to keep them low so we can give them to people so they can decorate their house. It's really nice. And tell us about um, how people can find out about your wreaths. You can go to Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash TNT wreaths to find out more about us. I have wine bottle lamps, wine bottle uh, wind chimes, and flower pot kids. I saw a picture on Pinterest and liked it, but I didn't like the design, so I made my own design. Um, I wanted them, um, so I ended up having to make them myself. After a couple of months 
building them and giving them to friends and family, they started offering to pay, so it ended up being a business. I get raw products, basically um, empty bottles that people give me or from, you know, daiquiri shops, bar rooms, whatever. Anything that they're throwing away, I take. Um, I take and cut the bottom off of them, uh, clean them up, cut the bottom off, and came up with my own design for the lamps and the wind chimes. They're very unique. I've never seen them anywhere else. Um, you know, a lot of people, I've been doing very well with them. My company is Aaron's Empty Nest LLC. Um, no punctuations, no spaces, and you can search for us on Facebook and see some of the past um, events and pictures that we've done. And you told me that the house up here is, was in your family. Tell us about that. My daddy snuck into the neighborhood and married a decoro. And my mama, her mom and dad built this house. Alexander Decoro, and he had a nickname called T-Son, is what they called him. But they built the house in 1898, and my mother was born in 1912 in this house. So it's very special to me to maintain this house in a special way. The Creole is part of the French heritage as such. You know, the Creole is really French heritage is what it is. And here in French Settlement, we do have that heritage of being French. So we would like to maintain that, that heritage. It's just, a, it's so important to me now because I'm a little bit older than what I was. There's so much in the past I wish I would have listened to and preserved for the future generations. The stories that I lived through from my mother being here is just special to me and I don't remember half of it. But we want to maintain that history for French Settlement. Do you think it's important for the younger generations to come out and, and enjoy this? Oh absolutely. It's part of to learn about the historical society by being part of an organization and a community. This is a community function to bring everybody together, young and old. It's a historical kind of thing, isn't it? What are y'all celebrating? Well, it's just uh, the years back, they're just telling people how people lived and what, and what they used and how they lived and uh, the tools and stuff they used back then uh, how, and how they managed to survive, you know, in them days. and. Uh, it's just a festival of good friends. We've seen just local, down-to-earth people, people that just, you know, are friendly, like to, tell, like to talk, down-to-earth. I've seen a lot of people that um, I haven't seen in years, um, enjoying the music and, you know, enjoying the festivities, watching the kids. The kids are having a great time. So, yeah, we'll be back. We will be back. So, next year, what, what will you tell people about why they should come out? Um, we, you know, we're just out here to have a good time, listen to some great music, talk to some great people. Over the years it's gotten bigger and better and we want it to keep growing. Um, we have a very variety of different kinds of foods, um, drinks, um, entertainment. It's, it's, it's a big family event and I advise everybody to come here on this day. You can hear the good music, we got good food, good friendship, and that's what this life's about. Enjoying yourself to the fullest with food, music, and friends. And next year, you know, you need to come out, get your dancing shoes on. <laughs> Between the food, you're not gonna be able to walk out here without going side to side because you're gonna be so full when you leave here. We got plenty of food. Um, the people here are super nice. The entertainment is all day long. There's no dry time. Uh, you need to check it out firsthand, and uh, you will come back every year, every year. You will not miss a year after you come. We have a Facebook page with the Friends Settlement Historical Society. <laughs> And um, the Friends Settlement Historical Society, we have a web page on Facebook. And then my, all my contact information is there. It's um, on the town website, Friends Settlement Town Hall. It's all on there. We have pictures, contact information, anything you need to do. And we are happy to open the museum for special tours, events, family functions, whatever you like.